This is my Roblox Suzuki game. It's my first ever simulator and it's pretty easy to beat. Yeah, I'm like 10 minutes in and I'm already getting like 50k per click. So that's why in this video, we're going to change that. Let's begin, shall we? As you guys can see, we've got three, wait, one, two, three, four portals here, which means that we need to create four new worlds. But what's the point of these worlds? Each world will cost more and more viewers to unlock. And as you progress through each world, you'll be given a click multiplier. Pretty OP, huh? Nah. What's really OP is the game passes we'll be adding later in the video. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, we need three, I mean four concepts of different maps to create. I'm thinking the first map should be, um... I'm thinking that the first map should be desert themed. It's totally my idea. So let's crack on, shall we? Before creating any map, it's important to have a mock-up for what you want to create. So I whipped out sketch.io and started drawing. Alrighty fellas, here's what we've got so far. The purple thing right here is the portal. We've got a bunch of random buildings on the left, a lagoon on the right, and you're probably wondering why there's a humongous pyramid on the top left. It's because that's going to take you to the pyramid obby. Yay, more building. I definitely didn't add this to make up for the fact that I can't code pets. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's build this thing! First of all, let's make this floor a suitable size. That looks good. And now I'm going to add my signature checkered texture onto it. That's if I can flip and find it. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Ah, I just love the look of it. I'm going to quickly add the borders around the map. I'll be back in a minute. One minute later. All right, those borders are looking juicy. Very yellow and brown heavy. But I think it looks good. These brick blobs are where the main POIs are going to be. Let's add some paths. The easiest way to create paths is by using this Archimedes plugin, which is free, by the way. And just like that, the path is complete. First of all, I'm going to place down the assets we already have, such as the portal brick the actual portal uh, there's no more let's hop in blender shall we i'm done i'm finally done as you can see we have these magnificent buildings in place tell me these don't look good what the screw him anyways now we gotta pause my roblox store is looking kind of mid and our robux yeah let's not talk about that if you're in my shoes custom use is so perfect for you get it so sewing because i do clothing let me show you how simple it is. There are tons of templates for you to choose from, from t-shirts to tuxedos. There's literally even Snapchat and Minecraft skins. I think I'm going to choose this one. You can then remix the template to your liking using custom users easy to use tools. Let's make it green, add a logo, and they even have their own free assets for you to use, such as this juicy chain. And then you can easily upload it onto Roblox. And just like that, I've easily made some Simjet merch for my group. You can buy it, by the way. You can then upload this onto Roblox, set a price, and watch the money come through. If you want to create your own outfits, check the first link in the description. Now, back to the video. Anyways, now we got to make a giant pyramid for the desert obby. Listen, there's not much I can do but just a cone. Cut me some slack. I then made this lagoon, or oasis, or whatever you call it, and scattered a bunch of palm trees that Jamscript made in this video. With that, I think this zone is complete. You guys are probably wondering, apart from the obbies, what's the point of all these new zones? That's why I've created world multipliers. As you can see, the text label at the top says I have a one times boost, but when I walk through this portal, it changes, and now I have a five times boost. Before I was clicking this much, and now I'm clicking this much. Tell me this isn't a game changer. Alright bro, I'm done using that sentence. Before we move on to the pyramid obby, let's make the next zone first. I'm thinking that this zone should be candy themed, so let's draw a concept. Here's what I'm thinking. Quite simple, but it gets the job done, and we can obviously scatter a bunch of assets around too. This brown box is going to be a gingerbread house by the way. To make my life easier, I'm going to be using this Candyland asset pack, which you can find for free in my discord. Link to the description. Let's get started. This seems like a suitable size. Let's colour this pink, and begin placing some borders. After a bit of adjusting, the border is complete. I also made sure to add the subtle texture onto the floor too. Right here is my free Candyland asset pack. We don't need these borders though. Let's get scattering. First, let's place these white lollipops, then these red ones, then these yellow ones. Alright, let's put down this candy floss, or should I say cotton candy, as you silly Americans call it. Now, let's put down these jelly cubes. Looking good! Last but not least, the poop patches and chocolate bars. Very simple, but very nice. Now we gotta make this gingerbread house. Back to Blender we go. Listen, it's not my best work, okay? You can always ignore it. What? what the? I gotta go caught? I just want to apologize for all the havoc I've caused. My horrible creation kills so many people. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. Guys, there's something I've got to do. You can go through these portals when you get enough rebirths, right? But you can't get back. You're stranded! Let's fix that, shall we? First, let's drink the script that actually teleports you to the place. Now, in this part right here, let's add a part. And a script 
and let's call the part destination. For my next trick is going to go invisible. Now we need to anchor the destination and turn off can collide. Paste in the script, delete, delete, delete. Now that should be working. Let's test it out. If I go through here, as you can see, I got teleported. But if I touch the part again, <laughs> now I'm gonna try and make a leaderboard because you guys clearly want one. I yunked the model from the farming simulator game in this video, pasted them in, and then began coding a leaderboard. Turns out, I don't know how to create a leaderboard. It's finally here! Now you guys can compete to get to the top of the leaderboard. It only took a bit of coding. <laughs> so yeah, really cool. Thanks to Gaming Mate for his amazing teaching skills, by the way. If you get to the top of the leaderboard, I pronounce you very cool. Let's get these last two worlds done. For the third world, it's going to be pretty weird. It's going to be grey box themes, just like that one Arsenal map. I found this random pack somewhere. I forgot where, it just spawned in my inventory. It's just a bunch of textures on part, and I'm going to use it to create this map. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but let's get started. Alright, so I've made this black floor, because everyone likes black floors, and I'm going to scatter these spheres. Wait, what's the shape? And I'm going to scatter these spheres around the place. Not too shabby. Let's just put a bunch of squares on the ground to fill up space, and we'll make an ugly purple house to put this zone's obby inside. This looks... What have I done with this game? Last but not least, let's add some more cubes for some depth. You know, I don't know what to think of this. Let me know in the comments if you think this looks good or not. Anyway, let's add the portal. Another magic trick. BOW! Let's test it. These leaderboards are so juicy. I don't know about you. I don't know why these paddocks don't disappear sometimes. The portal still lets you do it though. Damn! The multiplier is going crazy. Does it let me go back through? Yes. Alright, I put this back way too far. It's time to make the obbies. First, the pyramid obby. I'm thinking that we should make a massive maze in the pyramid. And at the end, you can retrieve your treasure. Alright, I've got this big floor. And using this piece of wall, I'm going to construct the entire maze. Pretty simple maze, nothing special about it. But when you complete the maze, you get taken to this room here, where you can claim 10 million clicks and then get teleported back to the desert zone. Pretty cool. This game is coming together very well. Before we move on, I want to thank you guys for the amazing support. We just hit 4K, let's keep it up. Now, before we make this grey box thingy, let's add invisible walls around the map to prevent players from escaping solitary confinement. Alright, so I'm thinking that we make this map the hardest wall wrap for a grand prize of 10 billion clicks. So I searched up how much the biggest wall wrap is, and it turns out it's around 11 studs. But to make it possible, it's going to be 10 studs. First, the portal. I'm just going to paste in the code for all the other portals we've done, and it should be working. Now for the wall wrap. Here's what we've got. I initially thought the wall wrap would have been 11 studs, but because the player has a max speed of 31 in this game, I've increased it to 18 to make it fair. So here it is. Not too special once again. Once you complete it, you get the prize of 10 billion clicks. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. The game pass. I'm going to be making an auto clicker game pass, so you can click even when you're AFK. I hopped in Photoshop and made this simple GUI button and exported it onto Studio. After a little bit of coding, just a little, we now have the auto clicker game pass working. And you guys might have noticed that there is one world left, and that is the final world of this game, the white room. Since this is going to be the last world of the game, I want it to be something different, something unique, and that's why it's going to be all white, hence the name, and it will give you a 10,000x world boost. Just like that, the update is completed. I'm probably not going to update this game again, but I'll still be working on amazing games for you guys in the future. It's been a great journey making this game, but it's time for it to come to an end. If you want to play the game for yourself, the link will be in the description. That's it for this video, see ya!